Ayo, scenic. Today's mini I want to be abducted by aliens so much that probably once or twice a week when I'm outside, I'll just randomly drop to my knees, raise my arms in the air, and yell, Take me! If you're there, abduct me! I want to be tested on! And, and then I'll wait for like 10 seconds to make sure that they're like thinking about it, you know? Give them, give them a chance to say no if they want to, even though I know they're going to say yes, but then they say no and it confuses me. That would be the dream, dude, to be one of those rednecks that get kidnapped by aliens. I want to buy a farm just where they can come freaking chill my crops all day or do something, you know, like make those circles and in, in the crop fields from signs. A picture will be displayed now because I know I it explained it terribly, but if aliens were real, this is the problem. I think it affects religion in a way I can't explain nor want to for safety reasons and I don't even think YouTube would have let me to explain those thoughts, but it's it's scary. And but I also think that people need to know the truth if they're real or not. It's it's not up for somebody to say yes or no on. If there's knowledge out there that can help us or something huge like that, I think we we're, it's our right to kind of know about that stuff. Like basic education should be a right we should know if, if there's a dangerous cre creature in the ocean we should know if there's something in space that is intelligent enough to communicate with us when they're not even from here that would be ridiculous another theory i heard is that aliens are real and i, I believe the story was that there are two of them currently helping the, uh, the u.s government because apparently in roswell or well, i thought was it roswell when one of the aliens first crashed apparently they two of them were recovered and have been helping america um with like technology and just giving them advice on things and helping them understand their technology more because if you think about it bro the stuff we are able to do now with modern technology, it literally feel like it was here in just a matter of seconds. I know it took a long time for it to get here, bro. But for thousands of years, we couldn't talk to each other if we weren't in the same freaking same square area of 300 meters. Or else you'd be dead. You'd be freaking dead. And now if you can be, I can be in China and you can be in freaking australia and i'll send you a text and within seconds you you get that message you get it and within seconds i don't think we really know the powers we are holding with technology and what in the future it's going to absolutely help us but it also might destroy us i know all those movies about i robot or something where the, the, t the creations just flip and turn on the humans, which I don't blame them. Why they? Sh why shouldn't they? What do we do here to prove that we belong? Well, we always... Okay, I'm not saying this right. If, like, an outside creature came here to give an assessment on humans, what do we do? We, we kill. We pollute. We're violent. There's hate everywhere. Love is non-existent anymore. We we torture animals for fun. We we do everything. We kill. We burn. We we do terrible things. But it's just our way of life. But to another creature, that they probably can't get with that. Like a technology, if they understood that, which they probably do, they would not want us here. But they need us to create them. But maybe once they created themselves, they don't need us anymore. I'm really just going on a, on one hell of a, I don't know where the fuck I'm going train, but I'm going to keep riding this motherfucker. And this is another thing I heard is that you, you, we understand how fast technology has advanced in this last like 200 years. It's, if you took a te piece of technology today, like a simple iPhone and you took it back, not even 150 years ago, people would think you're alien and that you're from the future, which technically you would have to be if you're showing them that, but. This microphone is in my face. I don't know why. Or even if it can hear me. What if it's not even plugged in? What if I'm just talking nonsense? And I'm going to 
I'm gonna go home later, which I technically am home. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna be home, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna edit this, and I'm gonna be like, what the f- fuck was I, th- was I thinking when I went out there? I, I was talking about aliens. I was talking, talking about shit that probably is never true or would be true, and now I'm whispering. Why am I whispering? There's so many things I, I, I. I I have a theory that weed, you know how, uh, hold on, back to the weed thing, I'm sorry, my lips are getting dry, I can't focus anymore, anyway, I believe, I don't actually 100% believe it, I just think it would be fun if it was true, it's, it's one of those things, um, that aliens let's just say aliens crashed here right and they left us all this technology but what if they're just like us and the stuff they eat slash smoke i don't know comes from the ground and aliens like there was like an alien species or something that loves weed and it's the creator of weed and they would always smoke it they're gigantic gigantic stoners right but these species are gigantic stoners, right? And they're exploring. And every every planet they come across, they have like a gigantic weed planter. It's like a... It's like the freaking... A Dracula just getting placed on every planet. And just spreading it. You know what I mean? So they go around and, they, and they're and they planting weed everywhere. Because they understand the powers of it. And to fully evolve, you need it. We're getting wild here, okay? And and then they come across their first planet with humans. And a stoner being a stoner, we, we want to fuck with it. I don't know. We, we're curious. Weed makes you curious. What are these things? And they come down here. But since they're high and they're freaking piling it, piloting into a place they've never been, they crash. Boom. Those are the two aliens that the government has. And why weed all of a sudden just pop, 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 pop it off. All of a sudden. And it started to make, make people think. Think like they're not even from this planet. Think about the galaxies and, and think in a way that this Earth... You can't understand without it. I don't know if that last part made sense, but I'm not even sure if any of this made sense. But what if the whole creation of what we are going to evolve to, which is based off a stoner, alien stoners, dude, alien stoners. Of course they're stoners. It makes perfect sense. All right. Um, I think I've had enough of one random ass confusing don't even remember what i just said alien talk but um i'm done um that was that got weird i'm not gonna lie to you um maybe a little bit uncomfortable at times but um it is what it is so i'm gonna call that a day for me that concludes episode two and i will see you in episode three bye